Hey everybody, I just wanted to uh, do a quick video on uh, a new guitar I have. This is a, a Rainsong HDR 1100N2. This is the hybrid series, uh, which means that this guitar is carbon fiber, but also glass fiber. And I think they do that to help reduce costs, but also to give the guitar uh, a darker tone than, than a pure carbon fiber guitar. So uh, the body's made of both that carbon and glass fiber. There's no braces in it. Um, and there's not even a, a you know, a neck block or, a, or an end block at all. They're, the material inside gets a little thicker in those areas. Uh, it also, it's really thin up against the sound hole, but about a half inch back or so, it gets thicker. Um, and I think they call that pro the projection tuning. Uh, I think I saw that on the Rain Song website, but it's a little thicker in the middle. And then if you look closely around the edge, you'll see sort of a line there the camera will pick it up I'm not sure but it gets really thin up against the edge uh, of the, the side of the guitar again so I think that's sort of like Taylor's relief route um, but um, but the guitar sounds really good it's really light flip it over so you can see the back here the neck is the N2 neck the older guitars had were called N1 neck and didn't have a truss rod so this one has a truss rod um, I saw a lot of um, comments online about the neck being really thick or big and coming you know from acoustic guitar playing a one and three quarter inch nut callings it's not really much different at all so i can tell a little bit of difference in the profile but it's pretty minimal uh, one thing that's neat about the neck is that the uh, heel of the neck only goes about halfway down the body and that's a uh, that's sort of interesting to to see there uh, and then it's just bolted on with two bolts um, so some of the other guitar companies, I think, you know, f carbon fiber companies make it in one piece, but, um, but they use a boton neck, and like I said, it's graphite. Um, and then if the light hits it just right, sometimes you can sort of see little blue sparkles and stuff in it, but it just looks black uh, in most cases. Um, they used uh, Godo tuners uh, that are sort of big on there, but they're branded with rain song. It has the raised lettering. The tuners are pretty nice. They work really well. Um, here's the truss rod cover up here uh, to get access to the truss rod. And they've got the little rain song sticker here on the headstock that's, you know, under the epoxy there. And the, the same with the little white sticker around the rosette. Um, so it has a tusk nut and saddle, if I didn't already say that. And a graphite bridge. And this is, I think, epoxied on, but it's got three bolts uh, that hold this on uh, so it won't come off. And I think the fretboard itself is some composite material. It has jumbo frets, and it has uh, just plain white plastic uh, fret markers, and it's got some side markers as well, and a uh, strap button on the on the neck and on the tailpiece. So uh, overall, the guitar is really light. It has uh, a lot of sustain. Uh, that's like some of the things that stood out to me. It came strong with Elixir 8020 light gauge strings and so I've used those for about a week and a half and then today I changed um, changed them out for some medium Martin Monells. Uh, the, the light strings felt really slinky and I may end up going you know finding a compromise there with like a, a bluegrass set that's more mediums on the top uh, and and light gauge on the on the bottom but so far I like these uh, medium Monel's, you know, there's definitely a little more tension there, and I didn't, I didn't mess with the nutter saddle. I just wanted to sort of see how they fell, but the action came uh, fairly low, um, you know, from the factory. So uh, these still feel pretty well. I mean, it's pretty close to my callings uh, from a setup perspective. You know, one thing I read and I was sort of concerned about was this has a 20-inch radius on the fretboard, and uh, my callings has. A compound radius and I think it's maybe 16 inches up by the nut and it goes more flat up to 20 something inches 24 or so up the neck um, so I wasn't sure about this 20 inch uh, radius and then I have a GS mini as well and I'm not sure what the radius is on that but it has a 1 11 16 inch neck I haven't been able to tell too huge of a difference I was afraid it might make you know doing a, a bar chord <laughs> seem to have any negative impact so far so uh, the only thing that's a little weird is uh, you know making sure that capo uh, works well with it so I uh, seem to be 
having a little better luck with my Shub Capo than my Elliot, but uh, just from how tight I feel like I have to squeeze it to not make the, you know, to get the strings all pressed down. But uh, but I've tried a couple different ones, and uh, they seem like they're, the, the Shub seems to, you know, it's the clamp on Shub Capo, and it seems to work pretty well. But, um, but yeah, that's a, that's a little overview of the guitar. Uh, it actually came with a, a nice uh, hard case as well. It came with a, uh, a Rain Song branded, I think it's an Access 3 case. It has an arch top. Uh, it's pretty padded inside, and the padding goes right up against uh, the guitar. It seems like it fits really well. So uh, I was impressed by that, that case. I typically keep my callings in a Hiscox because it's lighter. Uh, than the the Collings TKL case that came with it, but um, but yeah, I think that'll be a good a good case for traveling and uh, and checking on airplanes and things like that. So uh, so anyway, that's uh, that's a little overview of this. I'm, overall, I'm really pleased with it. It seems like the quality is uh, really really it's a well done guitar. So uh, and uh, I've taken it to a couple of bluegrass jams and I've gotten really positive feedback. So I wasn't sure how people would react. Um, I had a lot of wood bias before I bought this guitar. And I was wondering, uh, you know, I think that's something that's hard for folks to, uh, folks to, uh, you know, think about with a wood guitar. You always think, well, this is the worst it's going to sound when I get it. And it's always going to get better. And wood is really beautiful. And, uh, you know, depending on the guitar, um, that's something that's pretty awesome and so I wasn't sure what I would think about the carbon fiber overall but I think it's got a cool look to it um, and you know I, like I said I'm digging the sound on it so far uh, it's brighter a brighter tone than my callings uh, it's probably on on at least the the G B and E strings uh, the high strings it it's probably a little louder or it seems to be a little louder um, than the callings but uh anyway we'll do a, a couple of uh little clips here of me playing a few things on it and, uh, and <laughs> of this guitar are really good I think uh, I think for what I bought it for um, it's going to be a great replacement for the GS mini but it actually uh, I think is a, a good backup guitar for the callings 
uh, as I go to festivals and, uh, and you know, take trips and those kinds of things. So uh, overall, I'm really impressed. Uh, one thing I didn't mention in the first part of the video was uh, the contours of the guitar. You know, it looks like a standard dread. You know, one of the things I think can happen on, uh, on some guitars is they can have a really sharp edge on the top or on the back and it sort of cuts into your body. So, so the top edge of this guitar is actually, uh, has a nice rounded edge and the Collings does that on the binding as well. It sort of rounds off the edge of it, but it's, uh, it's very subtle, but on the back, uh, there's a big uh, rounded contour, which makes it really comfortable to put up against your body. But, uh, overall I'm, uh, I'm super impressed. It's a really nice uh, guitar. It's well made and, uh, and I'm really pleased with it. So uh, thanks for watching.